it's that time again where we talk everything football. This week's episode plans to be action-packed just like the BFA season that kicked off last weekend. We also hear from Randy Harris, he's the man in charge here at the BFA Wildy facility. And of course, guess what? We had the MLS in town. All this comes up on First Touch. And you're watching First Touch. As I mentioned before, the BFA Premier League season kicked off last weekend. We already have 19 goals on the cards. And I'll throw over now to Nicholas Maitland. He is our analyst. Nicholas was a little off last week with his predictions. Yeah, just, just a little, just a little. Just <laughs> if you call that a little, but we will see. But Nicholas, mm -hmm. tell me about all the action that took place as the season kicked off. Well, as you said, 19 goals so far in the, in the league. And those were scored in five games because we had one nil-nil draw. But I'll start with the first game of the season, Pori Spring to all with Britain's Hill. And this was kind of true to form for Pori Spring because they ended with six draws last season, but leading 2-0 at halftime and then surrendering those last two goals to Britain's Hill. I was quite disappointed, but as I said, true to form for Pori Spring. UE and Notre Dame 2-1. Notre Dame won two goals to one. Notre Dame took the lead, then UE came back, and then Notre Dame scored the winner late on. I was not expecting this scoreline because I thought that Notre Dame, having gone through this transition process, they would not be successful against UE. But it goes to show UE also are going through a, a transition process, and on the night it was the quality in Dames that got them the win over UE. Wales and BSA, Barbados Soccer Academy, nil-nil. I could not have predicted this. I certainly did not predict this. <laughs> Uh, I was not expecting Wales to be shackled by BSA, but BSA really had a strong, resolute, defensive performance, and that is what really kept out Wales. And Wales were kind of, kind of sloppy. I want to blame the the football that they actually used because I just want to say quickly, Adidas footballs and Nike footballs they play much different, and the one that they were playing with on Sunday night was a different brand. I, I'm not sure if this caused the the lack of technical. Uh, ability in the two teams, but I, I can only assume that it was the, the football. Mm -hmm. The next game on Tuesday, we had Youth Milan drawing 1-1 with Paradise, and Youth Milan's coach that we mentioned, Mr. Norman Ford, he reached out to me and said that I wrote off his team last week, <laughs> and they, they managed to get a 1-1 draw against Paradise. Uh, their goalkeeper scored a penalty in the dying seconds, so, I mean, the goalkeeper probably is the best player, but we have to wait and see what Youth Milan come with, and apparently they're coming with many surprises this season. The next game was 3-2, BDF winning 3-2 over St. Andrew Lions. I predicted 3-0, but St. Andrew Lions have gone out in the off-season and procured some Brazilians. And three of them played on, on Tuesday, and I think three of them, uh, well, three more are supposed to arrive. Okay. So we have to expect a lot from St. Andrew Lions. But I think BDF scored within the first minute, mm -hmm. and that was really the changing point for the game. And then on Thursday, we had Empire winning 5-0 over Ellerton. I think I predicted 1-1 for that game Yeah, as you well. had it as a draw. And um, I, Ellerton were just not very...